what's the mentality of the group like right now? Mentality's good. You know, mentality of the group is good. They know what they have to do. You know, we're we want to try and make this a special season. We're we're two thirds of the way there. You know, now it's uh, this is a whole new season. It's a uh, it's a cup. It's not a it's not a championship. It's a cup, and uh, so we've got to now be prepared for the cup. But I think uh, you know our history in the cup. You know, and people always want to talk about the history. Our history in the cup is when we played the second game at home. We've we've always won, and we just got to make sure we're in it in the first game. Last time you were here wasn't a good trip but it was on a long trip 12 day trip yeah it was a 12 day trip it was the last game of the trip and and when you really look at the game you know i mean uh, we had more shots than they did we had more shots on goal than they did or that was mm -hmm. close to even uh, you know, I thought their first goal was a little bit fortunate. Uh, you know, the second goal for them uh, in that game was uh, was Texera's goal. You know, which was which was decent. The third goal was you know when the game was over. So, you know, we don't look at it as a three-one loss per se. We just look at it, end of a long trip. You know, we're going through a little bit of a thing there, coming off New York and so forth. You know, we'd worked really hard. We were fatigued. And, and they caught us at a good time. But, uh, you, know, you know, we'll be ready. And, you know, they're a good team. Their pace on the outside presents problems for everybody. Does the, does the Diaz absence uh, tweak anything? I, you, know, you know, when Diaz plays, they definitely play a 4-2-3-1. Uh, when Diaz uh, doesn't play, sometimes they play that way. Sometimes they play more of a 4-4-2. So we just have to be prepared for a 4-4-2 as well. The, the, the tweak in the playoff rules this year, Shiggy, uh, with away goals now being decided, yeah, is, is that a good thing? And does that affect the dynamic? Uh, yeah, I think the, it's the a good thing. Legs? It's a good thing. You know, we wanted to have consistency to what went on in the Champions League and Concacaf as well. And uh, you know, and, and I think it's a good thing because it, it does reward a team if they attack on the road and, and they score goals on the road. It rewards a team for doing that. And uh, so, so I think I think the change is a positive one. For the most part, you've got a, a playoff veteran team, but a guy like Fry, uh, just the whole idea of a first playoff, does it does it register? He's uh, pretty even keeled, you know. So uh, I'm not I'm not too worried. There's enough veterans uh, on the team, enough guys he'll hang around with that'll that'll talk to him, and uh, you know, I'm sure. Uh, if he does have butterflies, it, I mean, butterflies are a good thing. Butterflies and those nerves are a good thing. If you don't have them, then you're not alive. So uh, I'm not worried at all. Much has been made, Siggy, about the, um, how difficult it is to win the Supporter Shield and MLS Cup in the same season. You've done it twice with, with two different teams. So what, what can you say about where you think you are right now, perhaps with reference to how you did it in the past? Well, it's just always in the playoffs, you know, what you need is, is you need you need your special players to and to be special. You know, I mean, I know in in uh, in for us in 2002 that was Carlos Ruiz. I mean, you know, I think he had eight goals in the playoffs or something like that. So he had 32 goals in 32 games. I mean, it was an unbelievable run. And uh, you know, so he came through. It was Shaloto who came through when we were when we were in Columbus together. But it's also you know you got to be hot at the right time. You got to get a break along the way. Uh, you know, you got to have a goalkeeper who is in form. You know, because that helps you as well. Uh, but I think this team has those ingredients. You know, I think uh, we have those special guys who can make a difference and who can carry this team in the playoffs. I think we have a goalkeeper in good form. I think defensively, I think we've been really solid the last two games. You know, I know against L.A., they had more of the ball against us in Seattle, but I thought defensively we really didn't give much up. And even down in L.A., we didn't give much up in there. They're the best attacking team in the league besides ourselves, you know. So we're we're pleased where we're at right now defensively. We got to continue to do that because that's important in the playoffs as well. And you mentioned the uh, in the previous years, the road games being the ones that have been been your Achilles heel. What, what, what do you take from those, and, and do you change your approach playing? Well, what happened, away from uh, what happens? Time? What happened to us in those years on the road is is we were maybe naive or maybe too too aggressive at yeah. times where we went down and we wanted to get the goal yeah. back and get the goal back and and then we dug ourselves a hole that was too big to come out of and uh, even when we went down to LA 3 nothing and we came back and we're up at our place you know 2 nothing and then the handball on Johansson or the fingertip yeah. ball on Johansson yeah, yeah. you know <laughs> which you know which you know Keane was really clever on but uh, you know so we've always been able to fight back same yeah. thing when we came back against Salt Lake but we we got to make sure that we're smart enough to realize that hey if we're down a goal you know we go back one nothing we're okay with that we're okay the fact that they 
Sorry. Go on. Yeah. Um, the fact that, they, that Dallas just played three nights ago, uh, is that going to come into the equation at all in this game? Well, you know, I mean, hopefully there's going to be a benefit to us in the second half. Uh, you know, there's supposed to be a drawback to being in the play-in game, so hopefully that comes to benefit us because it's their third game in, uh, you know, eight days, I think. Uh, so, um, you know, we just got to make sure we keep playing at the tempo that we want to play at and we can take advantage of that if they do fatigue in the second half. Great. Thanks. Okay.